let's create our first design. It's basically a model of a wine glass. And it's going to be a really rough one. All right, so you can rename it right here. Just click on it. Type whatever you want. And that's it. Now click on the front plane and front view of the view cube and then sketch. Okay, let's zoom out. Now, for making the top of the wine glass, click on spline, go to the origin and left click it there. Now let's make a basic shape of it. So just curve it a little bit. And then double click here to end the sketch. For making the leg of the wine glass, click on line and just extend it a little bit further. For the base also we'll use same line. You can continue it from where you have left. And then complete the sketch. Okay, there are no gaps left now. Now we have made half of the wine glass. Now go to revolve. As you can see here, click on it. Now that sketch is already pre-selected as you can see from here. All you have to do is click on the revolve axis and select this axis. Okay, now we have a basic model of a wine glass. Now confirm on by clicking on the green tick and let's select fillet. You can manually adjust it by dragging the arrow or you can just type simply type it here. So one inch fillet, it looks like this. Two inch looks like this. We'll go for three inch fillet. And just confirm it. And there you go. Our very own wine glass. I'll click on the isometric view. Now you can make a variety of such designs just by using the same set of tools. Even though these are not production ready yet, it certainly is a small achievement that you can drink up to.